been running around grabbing up, paying ten times what it's worth. In one case, I saw for heirloom seed companies, they've bought up almost all of them, and then yep. they hoard the seeds, shut them off, no longer sell them, let those seed lines die in the public. Uh, domain, and then in places like Iraq where they have captured clients, they are forcing total conversion over to the GMO, and then it's jumping in to all of its, uh, you know, natural, uh, naturally occurring variants. Well, Iraq is is a particularly uh, strategic area because Iraq is uh, the ancient biblical Mesopotamia, the cradle of civilization. The valley between the Tigris and Euphrates was was the first cultivation of, of wheat and uh, they have more wheat varieties uh, in a seed bank uh, in Iraq before the uh, before the last war yeah not for long uh, yeah well uh, the seed bank disappeared it happened to be in a place called Abu Ghraib uh, some of your listeners might have heard oh. of that and it utterly disappeared off the face of Iraq now a death dungeon yes yeah yeah, so uh, uh, that's the kind of thing. And then you have uh, Bill Gates Foundation and, and uh, Rockefeller and, and Monsanto building the Doomsday Seed Vault, impermeable to nuclear attack or any other kind of uh, uh, natural or man-made disaster up there in the North Sea, uh, North Sea in the North Pole. They know what they're doing. They're, they're going to, in fact, a Monsanto executive, what, nine years ago, was actually even in uh, the big eugenics publication, The Front, National Geographic, but they even admitted there they had the quote to paraphrase, well, we're just going to infect everything with our, with our genetics and then use courts to basically take over those companies. And that's what they do. They infect you and then charge you for having their genetics. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's uh, this is uh, it's control. It's about total control. Full spectrum dominance is the military side of it. Uh, uh, the next book that I'm publishing, but the uh, control over the food, you control the people, as Kissinger said. Well, I want you to hit the key points, but right now, Global Research, great folks, Michelle Chasadowski, they publish your book. By the way, I want to car carry it. I just got so busy, I haven't bought it in bulk from them. Uh, I haven't read it yet, but I'm sure it's excellent. I carry some other. Uh, well, I think I think your readers would find it more than worthwhile, and I uh, would be very happy to have you. Well, we do carry some books on GMO by some other great scholars, but this guy's dead on, great researcher, but he's good on the full spectrum, speaking of that term. Other guests yeah. we have on seem to be specialists. You seem to be somewhat of a generalist, but also with a lot of detailed knowledge in each area. But that's what I do. Uh, but, yeah, g give out the phone number, give out the website, tell folks about the book. Okay. The book is available through Global Research, www.globalresearch.ca for Canada. The book is called Seeds of Destruction, The Hidden Agenda of Genetic Manipulation, F. William Engdahl. And uh, it's available. Uh, I don't uh, have the current price in mind, but if you go direct to the publisher, the published USA price is twenty four ninety five, and uh, if you go direct to the publisher, you get, as, as I believe, a discount on that. Now, do you have a personal site, or you just write for them? I No, 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 no. I have a personal site. I, I write uh, worldwide. My writings are picked up in... Uh, yeah, give out the site, because I see so many sites with you on it, I'm not sure which okay. one to plug. My, my personal site, uh, which is a compilation of all languages of, of my uh, writings and so forth, is www.engdahl.com. Dot oil geopolitics one word dot net. That's right. We plugged that last week, we'll, yeah. and we'll put that up on a screen for folks. Give that out one more time. Okay. www. And then my last name e n g d a h l dot and one word oil geopolitics dot. N -E -T. Okay, I'm going to skip this break for the Infowars.com stream listeners and PrisonPlanet.tv viewers. Everybody else will be back in three minutes, but I can't waste any time on this subject. It's so important. When we come back, though, we're going to talk about the fact that we won a major victory. We can defeat these people. But then they came in with a counter strike. So that's the moral of the story. The fight goes on. It's the long march. It's the going the distance that matters. Stay with us. Okay, William. A day unlike any other in the long. I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to him, John. A terrorist. I'm I'm gonna go back to him. I'm gonna skip this break. Uh, William, this is so important. If you can't do it, it's fine. I want to move Bob Chapman when he calls in f ten minutes 
back about 15 because I want to finish this up, and I've been adding a lot, but I know he's got more he wants to add. Uh, I, I, okay, we can go to a few minutes after the hour, if that's okay. Well, well not, yeah, I mean, I know, you're, I know your back gets to you. How, how far do you want to go? Uh, five minutes after the hour would be fine. Okay, and then we'll do, in a few weeks when your book comes out, the full-spectrum dominance discussion. That would be excellent. Okay, well, when Chapman calls, just tell him to stay on hold then. Okay, uh, that's fantastic. Uh, and I really want to I appreciate your scholarly work and your research. I, lo I, I look forward to uh, Do you ever come to the United States? Uh, seldom. I, it's, a, it's a physically exhausting trip, and I, I seldom get there. I understand. I would like to... Maybe we'll pay for a satellite uplink and do it. I would like to interview you for another. I'm going to make a. You haven't seen my film Endgame. I'm going to make a similar film. It won't be Endgame about all this, and it'll reach millions of people. I would like to uh, interview you and others for that film coming up in the next year. Mm hmm. Okay. So, I, I'm sure we can find some electronic. I do it with the uh, uh, Russian TV, with Chinese media, all sorts of places all over the world. So. I'm sure we can figure out something. Absolutely. I'll get you in the chair over there, and uh, we'll uh, do that interview that way. Mm -hmm. That's absolutely fabulous. Yeah, I've got a couple satellite uplink places right down the street. I was just in one for press TV for a for an hour yesterday, and I've done I do Russia Today as well. And uh, in fact, that's where we learned about you. I'd seen your articles, but I hadn't put two and two together. When mm -hmm. I saw you on Russia Today, that was good. Russia, Russia Today. Oh, Johnson's... Uh... Well, you may not have. It was it was a phone interview, but you were on Russia Today. I, I saw. Okay, it. Mm -hmm. okay. No, I did a phone interview with Real News. I think it was on Georgia about uh, three, four weeks ago. Yeah. Well, they must have picked a clip up of it and put it on Russia Today. Okay, that can be. Yeah, they uh, they they tend to do that. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, well, that's fantastic. We're going to go live right now, and I want to talk about some of the victories we've had, and then I'm just going to give you the floor of the last five minutes. Other other you know, hitting key points here uh, mm -hmm. for the listeners. I. Are you enjoying the radio interview? Oh, very much, very much. Well, we really appreciate you. Uh, it's so hard to grasp how just how big and evil this is, just how real it is. It's so diabolical. It's like it's like a it's like a comic book or something with you know, what the evil mastermind comes up with. Okay, here we go. I hope that you'll join me in this new sense of American security. Call eFoodsDirect.com. That's eFoodsDirect.com or 1-800-409-5633. That's 800-409-5633. Call them today. You'll be glad you did. The American people are the guinea pigs. We, it's all tested here. The fluoridation of water, the mercury in vaccines, the sterilization. And the Rockefellers really got their power. 30-plus states had four sterilization laws. They carry out their eugenics operations. They founded the Human Genome Project. Their head scientist saying blacks weren't human a few months ago had to step down, Dr. Watson. This is what they're up to. And they're playing God. And they are intelligent. They do have a lot of foresight. But when, when the people said no to human growth hormone in the milk, they just passed laws where you basically can't label it. Or when the people said we want organic food and started buying it, they just passed a law saying it can be 75% inorganic, uh, genetically spliced, and they'll call it organic. So they're hitting us at every level. And they'll go in and pay $100 million payments to African countries just to get this food in. Uh, and, and folks all over the world are saying no, so companies have been caught illegally planting in places like Brazil. I mean, they want to get it in. They want to infest. They come in and plant their seeds, and they've caught retired Royal Mounted Police you know, literally throwing... GMO seeds into the uh, the gutters by fields. I mean, this is this is bio warfare. Uh, three minutes left in this segment, then five in the next. You've got to leave us, Bob Chapman, coming up. You've got the floor. I'm going to shut up. I brought in my points. Other key areas we haven't covered. Well, uh, to go back to this project from the 1950s to give uh, readers an idea that this project is very concrete. You know, if you think of some vast abstract conspiracy, then you you feel hopeless and overwhelmed, but it's, it's very concrete, and I think that's important. That's what I try to do in all of my books, to give people a sense of the, uh, the actual concrete individuals who are doing this, uh, the actual concrete institutions, and so forth. And this agribusiness project, I think, is absolutely essential to understand. You go into a supermarket today because of modern advertising, 
most uh, American shoppers think food is grown in a supermarket at the uh, Giant or uh, uh, Walmart or what will you. And uh, this is a product of, of something called agribusiness. You no longer have the possibility to go to a farmer's market in most parts of the country. Uh, same Similar thing in Europe, although you do still have institutions in France, Germany, and elsewhere of, of these weekly farmer's markets. Thank, uh, thank goodness, but uh, more and more of those are, are getting uh, uh, agribusiness tomatoes from Holland or uh, South Africa or whatever. But uh, the vertical integration of the food chain in the hands of three or four giant multinational companies, the grain trade is in the hands of essentially three giant corporations. One of them, uh, Cargill Corporation, is a private family-held corporation uh, the former chairman of it, Whitney McMillan, was a Skull and Bones member along with uh, the Bush father and son.